In this tips and tricks video, I will be showing how to create a fluid volume in ANSYS Discovery. Creating a fluid volume is a very important step in any CFD analysis. In those types of analyses, we want to model the actual fluid and not the solid geometry, so it's required that we create a solid representing the fluid. In this example, we'll be looking at this mixer T. So you can see I have this body created from three different part, four different parts here. And I'm going to create one fluid volume that represents the entire internal passage of this mixer T here. In order to do this, I need to come to the prepare tab and then use the volume extract tool. So now that I've selected that, you'll see these different options appear. In these top two, specify whether I want to define the boundaries of the fluid with faces or edges. In this case, either option works, but I'm going to leave it on faces, and I'm going to select all of the external faces here, holding control to select multiple faces. The next thing that I want to do is I want to select a seed face. So this will be any face that is touching the fluid that I want to extract. So any internal face of the mixer T will work here. What's going to happen then is from that face, it's going to extend to touching faces until it reaches these boundaries. So I'm going to go to that option and select this one face here. And you'll see I have the check mark, but if I want, I can preview the inside faces. And this will allow me to check to see if I have any sort of leaks or gaps, um, which are not um, ideal when extracting a fluid. So in this case, you can see the entire passageway here is highlighted. But if I want to see progressively how ANSYS is detecting those faces, I can use this slider bar here. So everything looks good here, and I'm just going to hit the check mark. And now you'll see I have my fluid volume created, and I can hide my mixer T to show just the fluid volume. This concludes the tips and tricks video on how to extract a volume. Thank you for watching.